Paso Robles is California's not-so-hidden secret, making high-quality wines at half the price of Napa Valley. Paso Robles is a wine region located exactly halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco. It's 26,000 acres, which by wine region standards is actually pretty huge. With a desert-like climate, but located only 30 miles from the ocean, summer temperatures can reach 110 during the day, but down to 60 degrees at night. The hot days give the wines big, full, juicy fruit, but the cool nights adds acidity and dynamic, often subtle flavors, making powerful yet refined wines. Think Rambo performing Swan Lake with a bazooka. That's a Paso wine. The region is famous for growing Zinfandel grapes, which makes dry red wines and should not be confused with white Zinfandel, which is something completely different. Other grapes have migrated to Paso over the years, like Syrah, Grenache, Tempranillo on the red front, and Viognier, Marsan, and Roussan on the white front. Paso likes to do things a bit differently with labels like Anarchy, Troublemaker, and Sofa King Bueno. The labels might be playful, but the wines are actually very serious and legit. But they also have less ostentatious producers like Tablas Creek, Turley, and Justin Weiner. Things started picking up in 1991 when French wine powerhouse Chateau Beaucastel from the Rhone Valley, famous for making kick-ass Chateau Neuf de Pop wines, purchased 120 acres and brought with them grapes. They also set up a nursery and started sharing grapes with local farmers. The wine boom was on like Donkey Kong. From 1990 until 2014, there were 400 new wineries. Everyone from dentists to construction workers, surfers to Hollywood stars are jumping into the wine game. But this is no boom and bust story. Paso has put a pin in the California wine map and there is nowhere to go but 